What's going on, everyone? My name is JP. This is my wife, Jordana, and our kids, Aurelia and Odin. Back on our sixth wedding anniversary, we decided we wanted to buy an RV and see the country. Fast forward to March of 2021, we sold our house, ditched all our stuff, and hit the road for what we hope will be a journey filled with a lifetime of memories. We hope you will join us on this journey as we wander to get lost. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Saturday. Yesterday it snowed, or Thursday night snowed. We got five inches. It is now 20 something degrees, uh, snow on the ground, and I'm gonna try and uh, continue working on the, um, uh, the box project. So let me show you what I got going on. I'm trying to transfer now the pieces I cut out to make a template to replace that uh, front sheeting with aluminum. So this is the left side. I'm gonna build from the left and work my way towards the back. So here we go. So at least I know my radius cuts here, kind of where the, the front. This is the old uh, lip edge, but I'll measure and kind of find out where my bottom is. I'm then gonna probably keep an extra portion on the bottom and then I'm gonna score it and then do a lip underneath where I'll seal underneath and rivet from the bottom as well. Um, so yeah, so we got this whole sheet. So I'm pretty much, this radius cut comes here and is right here, like so. So I should be able to get both sheet, both runs out of this one uh, sheet of aluminum, if I do it correctly. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's that first part. Let's, I'll go get some more rusty pieces and see if I can piece this back together. All right, I got it rough cut out. Um, the problem is my, some of my pieces were so rusted when I cut them out, they don't match up. So I'm not sure about the true lengths of stuff. So I'm gonna get this mounted on the uh, uh, slide out, clamp it into place, we'll make some measurements and then uh, I can take it off and kind of line up where I need to make the uh, cut for the lip and uh, the rounded parts for where it meets into that center bar. So, all right, let's go. Oh. this line down here and figure out this scallop and that. I wonder if I should make that side first. Alright, so I'm going to do the right side, which is the end of the box. Uh, create that and then uh, I'll know how much to bring it over to where it's gonna butt up and seam the other one. The one thing I don't like is the seam is not gonna meet on a support on that post. Um, so I, I'm kind of okay with it because 
it's only going to be that little lip part and most of it's going to be covered by the uh, weather stripping that will go there and then um, I'll just seal it really well with um, either I'll tack it in a couple of spots and then I'll seal it with the 5200 and then once it's uh, ground down primed and with the Raptor liner it should be perfectly uh, like 100% not even move at all so all right we're gonna transfer this onto this sheet of aluminum I thought I'd be able to use that one sh sheet but that's not gonna happen uh, all right It's what I do. The party's starting. It's going down. Let me show you what it's all about. So this is the right side. Obviously, this is the opening into the box here. This will be the bottom. This is the, the side, the part that wraps up to the top. This is all open in here. This is the part where the post is. And then this is the extra length. And then once I get it on, I'll mark it just um, if I need to make any adjustments. So uh, I'll probably trim off a little bit just because I don't need the full length. And then also what I wanted to do was actually raise this up a little bit. Give myself a little more access into this cabinet because this always hung a little too low to get certain things in. So I might adjust it by an inch. When I get it on to the... Uh, to the pan to the panel I'll be able to tell better how much I can come up so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut from here take off this top section and then wait to do the final cuts once I get every get it all on all right I'm gonna cut it cut out what I got to cut out then I'll meet you at the RV Alright, so I do have space to raise this lip up a little bit because this is the actual bottom of the box right here. So I'm going to bring it down to another inch and a quarter. Um, so that way I'll have more access space over here. Alright, so now I can take this off and I can make all the cuts and uh, we can get this uh, glued and riveted on and then uh, yeah that'll be a huge hurdle get that glued riveted on I don't know when I'll be able to prime because it's so cold prime it so we might have to wait till we get down south but it's gonna be drivable right. sweet flat disc and just uh, clean it up and then we get to the uh, do the other one all right so 
so here it is it looks pretty good uh, just I gotta trim off a little bit up here it's a little high uh, so I'm gonna trim that off but the lip is here is good I did make a little mistake on the cut but that'll get covered with the uh, pinch weld that goes around this and so that'll be okay uh, so yeah everything lines up here I'm just gonna also I gotta trim off this and then uh, that'll line up with this I'll do that and then uh, we just gotta do all the cuts on this panel which is gonna be a pain in the butt because there's a lot of cuts on this all right so I'm not gonna bore you with more cutting but I'll show you when it's all done it is time to attach this panel <laughs> look at this so we are we are set on this back half um, I tried to record while I was doing it but the GoPro died so I'll record how I did it on the longer section but uh, this is all in and it's super stiff so I used the 5200 behind everything and riveted on and then I used the old pieces and I marked the uh, screw hole locations for the um, the latch uh, plastic pieces I actually have new ones so I'm gonna replace I think I have five I might order more since we're probably gonna be here till the end of the next week and then I'll just replace them with all brand new ones new hardware it'll be good I'm gonna get yeah it'll be good obviously it's gonna have to all come off again when I uh, when we have to paint all right so sweet uh, the good news is um, once I get the other piece on I could start putting our crap back in here and get it out of my mom's garage So, I'm going to start riveting in the center and then uh, work my way uh, out. All right. So there you can see uh, it's on. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with uh, sitting here riveting and stuff. I got to measure out um, the bottom rivet line, and uh, so uh, I don't know. I'll see if I'll show you um, when I'm done with that. When I get all the rivets on, or I'll just show you uh, on the next day when I come back out here because it's getting cold. I'm running out of daylight. So thanks for watching, everybody.